Greetings! My name is Joe Bob, and I'm very peeved. And welcome back to Jack in a Castle. <sighs> well, we know most of the score now. So. Yeah. Now that we have a plan. Well, kind of. We kind of have a plan. We have the beginning of a plan, at the very least. And they, as they say, failure to plan is planning to fail. And as Sun Tzu says, all warfare is base. Annette has decided to stick to her regular cooking. For now. I liked her experiments too, but they created a lot of extra work. <sighs> Something wrong? We're out of spices again. How? I just got huge chunks of them. While I was sorting the spices, Galeathos tripped and landed on the table. Ah. It was like, poof! The most earthy colored cloud you've ever seen. And the most costly. I was so sorry about it, I couldn't even be mad. I'll go buy new ones. Fortunately for you, I have no such weakness. Damn you, damn you, Goliathos! Damn you, Galiathos! However you pronounce your name. Thanks for our budget for this month is almost gone. Ugh, that's my fault. Can't deny that, but I won't say anything. Don't, don't worry, I will. Damn you, Annette! Damn you! She looks guilty enough as is. No, not guilty enough. She should be hanged. I have to pay for the spices from my own wallet, don't I? Yep. We still have salt. We still have salt. Right. I mean, if Jack wants something better, he can give us more money. Oh yeah, that's right. Ah, thank you, Marion. What was I thinking? Let's make the most flavorless food today. <laughs> like we have any choice. We cook some bland lunch. I don't even know if Jack will even notice. It's not that bad to be honest. Yeah, salt is, a, is, a, is an excellent spice, but... Seasoning. I'm not certain it counts as a spice. I, what is the definition of spice actually? Hang on a second. Yeah, yeah, spice, it's gotta be a vegetable substance, you know? Yeah, whereas seasoning is literally... Uh, is, you know, just basically anything added to food. You know, salt, herbs, spices, kind of thing. So yeah, salt is a seasoning, not a spice, obviously. But the point remains, it's a very good one. The king of seasonings, arguably. We, on we only see... We only think it seems bland because it's used in fucking everything. So, we so it's just sort of something we expect, you know? Well, maybe you don't. Once the day is over, I head to town. You're going to town, eh? Most toys are getting off work now, just like me. I have to tell everyone about the king. Yeah, we got to tell everyone about Elvis. Maybe mention how great Jack is, too. Okay, I'll hold off on that one. I can't come with Jack with a straight face yet. <laughs> Fair. He's just too mean. I guess he's mean. More, more to the point, though, he's he's just a bozo. I like e even if he wasn't mean. What I haven't actually seen anything to like compliment about him. He hasn't actually even if even though he hasn't really shown that many negative traits, he hasn't really shown many positive ones either. <laughs> you know, you could compliment the worst person in the world if he's got some good things about him, but uh, even the most mediocre person, uh, you might not be able to find a compliment for. Good day! What is it? Have you heard the news? Is it true? Hmm? What? Is what true? I told him about the king, as if I've just heard a rumor. Oh, nice one. That's not it. Sorry, what? The king was actually infected by aliens. And they're covering it up because they don't want us to know aliens exist. Maybe that wasn't so smart then. <laughs> what? Yeah, it's really crazy. Keep talking, Jarl. Everyone knows it's not true. Yeah, and your secret organization theory is so much better, huh? 
At least I have proof. Your text ID matching the castle's address isn't proof? Um, excuse me? Uh -huh. oh yeah. This guy thinks the king just got the sniffles or something. <laughs> what's that? That makes no sense. N no, he's too sickly to rule, but he's in the castle trying to recover. It's cute and all, but come on. Sick for months? I... He's just tried really hard to get back up, but I guess it's not happening. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever, Blondie. I don't think I'll get anywhere with these toys. Try telling some others. I walk around all the evening, but in the end, no one listened. I think everyone already has their own idea of what happened. Yeah. That's the rumor mill for you. Like, did you know the king is a werewolf? But he never turned back into a toy, so now he's hiding. And the king never existed in the first place, and he was a collective dream. I was taken for another lunatic with too much time on my hands. Nah. Maybe not the best approach, then. Once the night comes, I go to Sylvester. I tell him what happened. <sighs> the toys sure are creative. Yeah, my story didn't stand a chance. Ours is not a story, Marion. Oh yeah, <laughs> but you know, <sighs> with all these theories floating about, we will never be heard, and we can't very well take everyone on a tour to see the king themselves. If only there was some method to pique everyone's interest. Like bad news? Like bad news? Well, yes. Bad news spreads spreads faster than good news. I'm surprised you paid attention to such things. It's not that I paid attention, that's just how it is. Yes, I suppose. Well, maybe the toys would listen if we scare them a bit with our information. I believe they would make hasty decisions out of fear. Yeah, but the but hope but if we do things right, it'll be the hasty decisions we want them to make. I'm kind of doubtful anyone would do anything, to be honest. Hmm? I mean, the king has been missing for months now, and everyone is still minding their own business. As they should. But telling them their lives are in serious danger will make the king's condition their business. Right. Let's think about it some more. I don't really have the time. Yes, you're right. But we can't act without a plan, either. Let's just tell everyone about the king. Did you hear a word of what I said? I did. You're just being a wimp. Pardon? Sure, the people will be scared. And they should be scared. This is terrifying. You can't just keep thinking about it forever. Actually, we can, but we shouldn't. <laughs> the king could awaken at any moment now. We need to act. I don't disagree with you, but... But what? I won't tell it I won't tell anyone if you seriously don't want me to. But don't expect me to stick around. Spend the rest of my life somewhere far from here. All spent. <laughs> Maybe another country's king will see the disaster and just invade Hoiboxia. Hopefully killing the king while at it. We would just run away. You just sit here and die? There could be another solution if we just, just think about it. Right, I got that part already. And I think I'm going home. Marion, please. Wait! Please, wait! No! I'm sick of thinking and talking while nothing happens! I understand. We will do it your way. Huh? Really? Yes. You are right. That was easier than I thought. <laughs> He's desperate to keep you here because he doesn't want to have to see you leave, you fool. I will say, I don't agree with you at all. And I think there's such an awful way to deal with it. We do not have the time anymore. I saw the king just today and it was... Let's just say that Jack is really struggling to keep his majesty asleep. He's giving him conks on the head uh, all day, but it's just, uh, but the guy's head is just getting too hard. Whatever the public decides to do is better than waiting for the king to destroy the kingdom. Yeah, let's settle this democratically. Yeah, exactly. 
Thank you, Sylve. You are calling me that too now? Yes. Feels like a drop in status. Do you respect me less? Come on, it's a pet name. In, in fact, it's an elevation in status. You're being elevated to my friend. My close friend. <laughs> and that is the highest status you could possibly acquire. Well, near... Uh, well, maybe second highest. Those are degrading. No, those are a sign of friendship. <sighs> Very well. Tomorrow, then. Let us tell everyone about their inevitable death and witness the disaster. All right. Good night, Sylv. Good night, Mary. What? Why Mary? It is, it's a cute, friendly pet name. Do you like it, Maria? Fine, no pet name. <laughs> okay, not sure why you were so offended by that one. <laughs> Thank you, Marion. I come funny can call you Sylv, but I can't. Once your IQ drops below 12, too, you can call me whatever you wish. <laughs> this guy's great. And poor Bunny. I'm glad he didn't have to hear that. I did not mean it. I am sim simply agitated right now. I am very sorry for taking that on you. It's fine, I guess. It's late anyway. Let's forget this and continue or mission tomorrow. Yes, together. Yeah, good night, Sylvester. I really am thankful you're giving my plan a go. Yes, good night, Marion. Well, looks like I got on Sylv's bad side. Not sure he has a bad side. <laughs> but it doesn't matter. What matters is our plan. Finally, finally we can act. I just want this ordeal to be over with. I fell asleep, thinking about the most efficient way to spread the bad news. Have you, uh, going door to door to people and telling them, have you heard the bad news? Today, I have to make sure everyone is terrified. Yeah, fear, panic, horror, woo. They'll all die if the king isn't killed. I'm sure Jack will come around too, once he sees every one of his subjects is against his decision. Let's hope the subjects are against the decision. Maybe they're suicidal, I don't know. Maybe- what- wait, what if they're like, Oh, if the king decides that we should all die, I guess we should all die then. <laughs> Hopefully they're not that loyal. Even he has to cave in to that kind of pressure. I wouldn't put it past him, honestly. <laughs> to not- not cave in. But hope- he was hoping. If nothing else, we could always just f march on the castle and take and take it over with a hostile takeover. How should I spread the bad news? Rave about it in town. Uh, it's an idea. Let's see if it works. The place is buzzing with toys going here and there. It all looks so pointless, knowing we could die at any moment now. Ah, uh, but no, no, no. I'm here to stop that. I just need to start. Uh. Start screaming? <sighs> Goodbye, dignity. Take a deep breath and... Hey, I remember you. Ah! ah! Whoa, hey there, it's just me. Change your mind, huh? About joining my cause? Oh, uh, what? Dude, marching to the castle, a revolution. Don't you remember? Uh, kinda? I got all kinds of toys behind me now. But you feel pretty stupid turning me down earlier. Wait, this gal has been collecting toys. We're already a barge in the castle. <laughs> Doesn't look like she's going anywhere with it, though. She's just out here recruiting. Tell you what, I know a pretty influential guy who'd be really interested. Oh yeah? You can buy the castle tonight. Are you <laughs> trying to seduce her to our cause or just seduce her, Marion? Is this a trap? Oh well, if you're not interested. Alright, alright. Maybe I'll show up. Maybe. She'll show up. She's impulsive enough to start a mob. No way she can contain her curiosity. I told Sylvester about the lady and our plans to meet tonight. 
Huh. That is, frankly, your most idiotic idea so far. What do you mean by that? Teaming up with some rogue woman and her ill-tempered mom. You wish to kill everyone in the castle? Don't talk about killing anyone. Yet. I despise senseless violence. It doesn't have to be senseless. I just want... Whatever it is, and we want the king dead. We do? This is news to me. Ah, yes! Yes, we do! Whatever happened to doing things my way? I did say that. Very well. Let us meet this woman. Yeah, thanks, Sylph. Vester? <laughs> we wait until midnight. She's not here. Of course not. No lady with any shred of common sense would meet up alone with a stranger at midnight. You or her coming in right as he says that. Well, but... Ah, I take that back. I can hear a lot of others are nearby. Can't hear anything, or see anyone. Well, that's because he clearly has better hearing than your one malformed ear with his zero ears. Obviously. Please come out and introduce yourselves. Hey, uh, long time no see. Hiding in the bushes? Ugh. Forget it. Let's head back. Huh? But... Yeah, I figured you ain't gonna help us now. But with you being so busy sucking the temporary kings... Sylvia, please. I've asked you a million times to watch your language. You guys know each other? Oh yeah, that stuck up four of my music box is my brother. Huh. Ahem. I believe I've mentioned her once. She's the other half of my set. Oh, the one who took up beatboxing. My condolences, again. Marion, this is Sylvia, my twin sister. Oh, nice to meet you. Ditto. But you said you knew someone who would want to help us with our cause. I know she ain't gonna do that. Sylvester's too worried about his standing, and his honor, and his status, and his everything, to do anything! Simply because I refuse to make a complete joke out of myself like you, doesn't mean I only care about myself. Tell me, sister, how did your beatboxing career turn out? Judging by the fact that you are here now leading revolution, I'd say it has gone south. Oh, snap. Oh yeah? Well, I heard you got kicked out of the orchestra. So pro a good job staying up prim and proper. That went real well, huh? Yes, it went so terribly for him now that he's the right-hand man of the, of the acting king. How terrible. I was not kicked out. I simply... I really don't want to get wrapped up in the Salm family's affairs right now. So hey, we're all about to die, so... Die? <sighs> you are right, Marion. As terrible as my sister's taste in music is, we have a bigger problem at hand. What are you talking about? We explained the situation to Sylvia and her crew, still hiding in the bushes. She is shocked, of course, but I think she took it better than I did. Man. Dude. Hey, guys. This sucks, huh? It's hard to argue with your assessment. As you can see, she's incredibly proficient at expressing herself. Quite so. <laughs> Music to your ears, is it not? If I didn't know any better, I'd say Sylvester is picking a fight on purpose. Whatever! We gotta strike the castle a ASAP and kill the king! Yeah! Er, uh, I mean, yes, I think so too. Let's go! Stop. What? Why? Yeah, what is it now, you walking wet blanket? As small as the castle staff is right now, the guards are still heavily armed. I think they like sleeping now? Let's go! You rush in head you rush in head first if you wish. Meanwhile, I will devise a plan of attack. Yeah, I mean <laughs> It would be I mean, I wouldn't put it past Jack's poor management, but I highly doubt all of the guards are sleeping. That, I mean, this is like when people would be breaking in, so this is like when they'd be most needed. So if anything, there'd be more guards than usual. So yeah, Sylvester is right. We need a plan of attack. Quick light, please. You're right. 
We should at least have some sort of plan. I mean, I'd at least want to warn the cook so she can leave. Her cooking is really good, when she's not trying too hard, that is. Exactly. We don't want any bystanders getting hurt. We only want to eliminate the king. Fine. We <laughs> yeah, it's such a... Fine, we won't go in and slaughter random bystanders if you really must be like that. <laughs> but that plan better be ready by tomorrow, because we're going in then. I will do my best to have a plan by tomorrow evening. Tomorrow evening, that... That's a... I was hoping you'd have something quick-like, like something we could do in short order. <laughs> but, alright then. Hopefully the world doesn't end before then. We will meet here with everyone who is willing to join in our raid. But I must insist, anyone who wants to in just so they can loot the castle and cause havoc can stay home. Yeah. I guess this will at least give us more time, it gives them more time to rally people with the, by, and, you know, spread the information and such. Right, right, of course! So tomorrow then, don't chicken out! She and her bush looking friends leave. There were quite a few more than I expected. Hmm. This is such a bad idea. It must be done. Yes. After tomorrow, I can finally rest easy! This will work out! There is no way such a small amount of guards can keep Sylvia's mob out. Well, uh, me or Sylvester can lead them right to the king's door. We might even get that far without any guards at all, if we're quiet. Who am I kidding? It's gonna be a disaster. Maybe I can sneak out during all the ruckus and avoid getting slashed with a sword. No. I have to do this, or there won't be any tomorrows to come. Rest easy one more night, stupid king. Tomorrow, you die. <laughs> Tomorrow, we dine on the on king flesh. Good morning, Sylvester. What is it, Marion? I am incredibly busy. Sorry, I just wanted to ask something. Yes? Aren't we still getting ex executed after this? We're killing the king. I do not believe so. Huh? Sylvia's mob will most likely take care of that. What do you mean? I mean, what will happen is what always happens with mob justice. The situation will grow out of control. Toys will die left and right. So we'll decide... Hey, isn't this all Jack's fault too? And that's that. Oh. That's a bit, that uh, seems rather daft. I mean, he was the one protecting everyone. Uh, albeit... Sure, he didn't kill the king, but... Still. I wish I was smarter. I wish I prevented this. I wish I hadn't told you anything. I should have killed the king myself in secret. And suffered the consequences of that alone. I had hindsight for you. <laughs> don't, don't say that. It makes me sad to think about it. We're in this together now. Deal with it. Yes, I'm just ruminating. <laughs> I had hindsight for you. Ah, that it is. It can't be helped now, can it? That is what happens to us fools, after all. However, I really am busy trying to come up with a plan that would minimize the damage. Got it. I'll see you in the evening. Just one thing, since you are here. These must be keys. Could you get Bunny out of the dungeon? Since when did you have these? For a while, but Bunny does not need to know that. Ha! <laughs> yeah, he'd be so mad. I will see you later. Right. I show up in the kitchen, but I have no plans to work today. Oh boy, you are late. Did you forget to set the alarm? Sorry, there's something... Uh, how should I do this? You have to go... You have to go home. What? But... Why? I heard rumors about some group of toys planning to raid the castle. Oh, that's awful. We have to tell Jack. No. Huh? I mean, I already did. He told me to tell you and the other servants so you can go home. The guides will take care of it. Ha. Huh. Smooth. Okay, but... But still, this is awful. Why would they do that? I don't know. But you need to go right now. I'll see you tomorrow. Uh, okay. Stay safe. Yeah, 
You be careful too. There she goes. I hope she won't stay and chat with the guards or anything. Alright, next. Goliathos is cutting down vines. He has no idea those come from the king. You look busy. Hello, Marion. Oh, s sorry. I think I got your name wrong. Sorry. No, that's actually... No, no, no. Don't say it. I, I remember it. It's Mike. Yeah, sure. I'm Mike. Phew. Uh, almost made a fool of myself. <sighs> Quite. Are you working tonight? Of course. Why? Don't you think you, um... Deserve a night off? When is the last time you had a holiday? I... well I... I've got an important job. When I slack off it... it's always bad. Should I convince him to go home tonight? Do it's reasoning? <laughs> um... Let's use reasoning. You'll be a better guard if you rest sometimes. I'm sure Jack is fine with giving you tonight off. I... I don't know. Maybe next week. No, tonight. It's, al it's always next week until you die. <laughs> I can't ask that so suddenly. No other guards are sick or on vacation now, though. Th that's true. Just do it. You deserve it. Really? I I've been wanting a day off for, for a while. Just remember to stay firm. Demand that day off. And make sure it's tonight. Don't accept anything else. Uh, yes. Thank you. I... I will. Off it goes. Thank goodness. Alright, that's two for two. Oh! Oh! Did you bring me food? Nope, but I brought you freedom. I take out the key Sylvester gave me. Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness, thank you! I would hug you, but... I've been stuck here too long. I want a bath. No, I want food! I want to eat food while I bathe! Alright, alright. I'll lead you out safely, but you need to stay quiet. Gotcha! Quiet as a mouse. Ooh, ooh! Can we go by the kitchen? Well, that certainly lasted a while. That's one loud mouse. No? But can we? Shh! I told you. Please! No! Shut up! But I'm starving and dirty! Shut up! It means close your mouth and stop talking! They took my wallet and everything! Shut up! I don't even have the keys to my house! Please! Shut up! Ah, the food in there is probably all moldy now anyway. Yikes. <clears throat> Should've just left you in the dungeon. Would've been safe there, probably. For the love of- I don't have time for this. And I don't have time to explain to Bunny why I don't have time for this. Just shut your trap, you stupid airhead! That's not very nice at all. I'm giving you some money, so be quiet and get out! Ooh, okay. But give me more money first. You do hurt my feelings a lot just now. I throw my wallet in Bunny's face and he happily hops away. I'm gonna pay you $100 to fuck off. I will never see that wallet again. Nearing the time we meet up with Sylvia. Just another hour or two. Maybe I'll go check on Jack, just so I know where he is. I make my way up to the tower and notice the door is slightly open. I can hear a conversation. This evening, a great concert is being played. I don't have the time right now. And you're not playing anyway, so who cares? I'm flattered, but I'm quite impressed with the lineup. I insist we go listen. Are you asking me out on a date? A business lunch, if you will. Look, it's fine if you want to see it. You can go. I even let Goliathos take the night off. Go with him. No, I suppose it's not that important. Okay, whatever. <laughs> so, so about the spell. I know it's just a bit dimmer. Again. I had to cast it three times today. We're gonna have to hire a full-time spellcaster if this keeps up. And it was a night shift one, too. Did you hear me? Yes, I... What was that? I look out from the window. Oh, for... It's Sylvia's mob. 
god! Ah, but this isn't the time we agreed on. They haven't even heard Sylvester's plan yet. And neither have I! Huh? What are you doing here? Oh, I was just, um... Sylvester's on the call. I was just here to tell you about the giant mob outside, that's what! Isn't he mad Sylvia's acting on her own? Unless this is his plan! Uh, it doesn't matter, we're being attacked! Yes, I noticed, thank you! We need to escape, follow me. We follow Sylvester. I keep hearing toys yelling and things breaking. But also laughter. It gives me an eerie feeling, like this isn't really happening. But Sylvester is calm, and Jack looks more angry than scared. Who are these animals? I'll have them all killed! Yes, we'll summon reinforcements as soon as we are out. That's probably enough time for the mob to reach the king. Assuming they know where the king is. Jack looks outside. Hmm? Don't think about it now, Jack. Don't think about it! That's where his majesty is! You are his majesty. Our top priority is you. My job right now is to get you to safety. Never mind. I don't think Sylvester is that calm. How would they find their way in? To get there right now. No, we do not. Wow, okay, I know his voice could get so loud. He wasn't even yelling. Excuse me? The king's door is locked tight. We are leaving now. We're joking around. We are not letting those beasts harm his majesty. What could you possibly do to stop them? Only one king needs perish tonight. That's a rather obvious way of saying it. And it isn't you. You knew they were coming. Yeah. I knew that as soon as he said that, he, over he overplayed his hand. We have to go. Jack! D do we go after him? No. I will not have this in the middle of that mess. We must go. A mist. A mist. All the noise, screaming, crying, and laughter. Sylvester and I make our way outside in silence. We made it. Yes, I told them not to enter through this route. Ah, so then... Yes, I gave them the order to strike now. I... I could have still been in there. They would not have attacked you. You're on their side. Assuming, they re assuming all of them recognize me. M yeah, but still. I am sorry. It was the best time, according to my calculations. No, it's fine. I mean, you're right. O you're right anyway. Like you always are. If he said we shouldn't tell anyone about the king, I think it was a mistake. I still think it was a necessary mistake. Well, if it was necessary, then how was it? How was it a mistake? It is possible to make no mistake and still lose. That is not weakness. That is life. The king will no longer be a threat. Some of the servants and guards are surely still inside the castle. What do we do now? Sylvia will be here soon. She will confirm the king's death herself. And dead he is! Call me Sylvia, the bane of kings! Please do not sound so triumphant. It is the most distasteful. I mean, it is the most distasteful. Whatever. Ha! Ah, but I killed two kings just now! Isn't that something? Oh. Hey, I had to, alright? You told me I had to. Yes, I did. So, buckle up! This marks a new era for Toyboxian! A time without monarchy! Don't be foolish. Now, if ever, Toyboxian needs a leader. Well, it didn't say anything about not having a leader. Everything is in chaos. But, well, I mean, yeah, but... There isn't anyone, you know? That's why Jack was the temporary king. There ain't no royal team toy boxing anymore. I should be the king! <laughs> I should be the king. No? <laughs> no way, never, not a chance. For once I'm in I'm in full agreement with you. Right? Just a suggestion. You need to be way more full of yourself, and arrogant. Like Sylvester! Maybe he should be the king. I don't believe so. <laughs> uh, 
Yeah, yeah, you should. Cause you're a bore and you sit around letting a lady like me do your dirty work. I don't have to listen to this. So it's who's boss, your majesty. Please stop. Then it's decided. King Sylvester. Long live the king. <sighs> Sylvester didn't seem happy at all. But he agreed to becoming the king anyway. After all, he was the right hand man of the temporary king. He was respected by Sylvia's crew, but not by Sylvia herself. And the toys were already familiar with Sylvester through his music. The, seeing such an elegant music box take charge after Jack was very welcomed. Today we're picking up important documents and whatnot in Jack's room. I can't believe you guys! Everything happened without me! That's what you get for being caught. I should have been there instead of Sylvia. Oh god, what if what if he had been the one we named King? I shudder to think. You had just gotten out of prison. Yeah, but... Weren't you the one talking about how you wanted to go get something to eat and take a bath and everything? I couldn't possibly tell you away from that. But I'm way cuter than her. Way cuter than... Sylvia? What kind of backwards logic? Do you really wish to have been in the, mi the mist of bloodshed? That almost kind of makes sense. Killing his majesty as well as Jack? Well, no, but... But, well, but... Well, maybe Jack, but... Come on, you don't have to keep bringing that up. Yeah, you're the king now. Be a little happier. Yeah, be an inspiration to us all. I've inspired nothing but terrible things. Bleh. Phil's all moody again. I'm gonna grab it some cake. It made it in the shape of a... The note thing! A what? Mm, you know, the swirling music icon in all songbook covers. G clef. Right, whatever he just said. <sighs> Are you alright, your majesty? Please don't call me that. Why not? We're fine now. Everything is fine. It's, it is not fine at all. What do you mean? How can you smile like that? We've killed the king and Jack. Most many other toys lost their lives for this too. Yeah, well, yeah, but we had to. For the greater good. For Toy Boxian. The greater good. That's it. This is not fair at all. We have taken lives. Therefore, we too should lose our lives. But wow. Okay, come on, Sylvester. That that'd be ridiculous. I mean. What if someone fucking is the, uh, th what if someone comes over and tries to sta uh, tries to stab someone in the uh, in an alleyway and that person kills them in their in self defense? Should that person lose uh, his life? That's, uh, what kind of ridiculous what kind of ridiculous logic is? You kill someone, therefore you should die. That's nonsensical. The fact that you feel so bad about it only proves you'll be a good king, and I'm going to support you with all my heart. Because I know you are kind and wise. <laughs> I know you're kind of wise, after all. Uh, at, at least. You know, you really are. <sighs> Thank you. You'll make the sacrifices worth it. I know it. If you say so, Marion. I do. We'll be just fine. Sylvester just needs some time. I'm sure he's beating himself up because he couldn't find a peaceful solution. But I don't think there was such a solution to be found. This is how the world is, isn't it? Yes? How unsightly. Well. Such is life. Well, that was that ending. Yeah, we do a whole fucking revolution or whatever. We strike Earth and then kill the kings and put Sylvester in charge. Good times. I guess. <sighs> you know, so far in these ga in these Nemly games, the, the I haven't really been doing other endings because because the ending that I got was 
either it just seemed like the the most thematic, you know? It just feel it felt like the the ending for me. But this game this game apparently has like nine endings, I think it was. And this one certainly interesting, but I think... Hmm, I, I have to wonder if we can do better, you know? Well, maybe you don't. But this will not be the end of this... Of, uh, of this series, just yet. Stay tuned next time, where we will be going through the other endings. Probably not all of them in one video, but maybe. <laughs> Until then, I have been Joe Bob, and I'm very peeved. And remember, dislike the video, unsubscribe if you're for some reason subscribed, and leave a nasty comment in the comment section down below. Fuck you all so much for watching, and so long, suckers. You're gonna be okay, kid.